Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Teacher Krish Devi, and I am handling French in CK School, Practical Knowledge, Kadalur. I have come here to share some tidings with you all, the students who are going to face your board exam in another few days. Now, French is such an easy language, so I acclaim the students who have opted your French as your second language because it is the easy sentence scoring subject. So the first thing we are going to see today is based on your paper pattern we will go ahead how to choose your questions and answer accordingly. Now you have two Roman letters where you have to attend without any choices that is choose the correct answer and true or false. The remaining exercises you will be doing with internal choices. So based on your pattern you can very easily attend the paper. And duration you will finish the paper in 2 hours. You will not take more than 2 hours. So the rest of 1 hour I want you all to check your papers properly. Now since it's a language you are likely to make mistakes here and there. Silly mistakes is common for human beings. So you need not get tensed about it. So what you do is you have to write the answers properly, neatly, without any overwriting. Write the questions in order. You should not interchange the questions and write. And you have to fit in one page one Roman letter or two Roman letters. Do not cut the Roman letters and go to the next page and do the second half. This is really not good for the people who are correcting your paper. So whatever you do, you do it in an order and try to write the question numbers properly. Don't overwrite it. Don't get tensed and put another number there. Okay, whatever you write, write neatly and clearly. So this is for the writing. Because as per the language, you have to present your paper in such a way that you show the examiner that you are a good student. Your handwriting talks the entire character of you. So this is all about writing. Next, based on your pattern, question answers. You will have so much of question answers to be learnt. Now what you do is you have questions behind your lessons. Please focus on that. That is more than enough for you to write the question answers. And what is required for that particular question? You write the needful answer. Need not create a story and write a paragraph. It is very clearly given to you in the question paper. What has to be done? Please do it accordingly. Next, dialogues in French. For that, what you have to do is learn all the dialogues which is given behind your textbook. Along with the grammar exercise, you will have some dialogues based on your topic of the lesson. So concentrate on that mostly. Apart from that, you have to learn first six lessons of the French dialogue or the last six lessons of the French dialogue. If you focus on this, this is more than enough and the dialogue is only for two marks. So don't be creating a story and writing it to number of pages. So what is required for the two marks, you please write. Maybe three, three responses and answering you can do like that. So accordingly you learn and you attend the French dialogues. Then one more thing I would like to point out is when you are writing your essay type of questions, that is your dialogue your letter writing or it may be French dialogues. Based on that, what you do? You don't use English words in between. Completely it has to be in French only. Choose simple sentences. Don't go for complicated sentences. Frame a simple sentence and you work out for letter writing, dialogue and essay. Don't use English words in between. This will really pull down your marks. So whatever you are learning, you learn in limited and be confident to attend it. The grammar exercise, learn all the grammar exercise which is given in your text. Okay, And you will be having choices in that. 
read the heading before you start writing the grammar you are likely to make mistakes by reading the roman letter in a wrong way next translation translation very easily you can score marks you have to learn all the eight lessons translation fingertips next you have is put in order so when you learn the translation you learn the put in order also order of the lesson is also you will be able to learn next you have letter writing essay so you will not be able to learn all the eight lessons letter writing so what do you do you focus on first six lessons letter writing or the last six lessons letter writing so in this way you will be in the safe zone next if you take on to the essay first four lessons essay you learn and then last four lessons essay you learn so in this way you will be able to cover the choices so it's because of the choice you can learn like that so this is the easiest method of learning so once again i wish you all good luck and having the fingers crossed to write your exams well and i pray to almighty that the paper should be easy and you should be getting high scores for this academic year thank you students have a wonderful learning and write your exams well all the best